Oh yeah, it feels great. Miss Kathleen Manhan and Miss Melissa Punchard, right here at Preservation Park on tonight, celebrating the Lions Center for the Blind involvement with the Remember Them Champions for Humanity project. Tell us about what it means to be involved with Remember Them. Wow, um, it's giving us an opportunity to have our community of blind and visually impaired involved in something that is going to bring attention to this whole field of people that are blind and visually impaired. And uh, it's a partnership that I think is going to grow. Uh, I think we're going to have more attention to the cause of blindness uh, and more interest in the education and, and uh, in training and help that we have to offer. So I'm very excited about that. I'm excited that Joe uh, actually connected us uh, so that I could meet Mario and then he could meet me and we could get Jerry involved and have a good time developing this process. Yeah. It is a good time. It is a good time. And Melissa, um, tell us about the good time there is to have at the Lion Center for the Blind. What happens there? Well, we have this fabulous team of instructors. So our clients come in and sometimes they don't know how to use a white cane to get around. So our mobility instructors can take our clients to their campus, to their home, get them to work. They really familiarize them with the, the community that they live in. And this is what this sculpture is all about too. It's Mario saying, if you're blind and visually impaired, you can still experience art. You can come to the park, you can feel the sculptures. And so many times, blind people are not included in, um, in, in popular art. And this is really an opportunity for everyone to get together and be a community. Well, I understand, uh, I understand Kathleen, that the Lion Center for the Blind is absolutely just about free. The services that are provided by the state are free both for our fee-for-service program as well as our older persons program for 55 and older. They don't pay anything for the services. And that's really important because sometimes they're challenged in being able to have the services available to them uh, through other sources where they'd have to pay for it. So this is a real great opportunity and, and it really allows for a little excuse on my part to, to I want them in there, I want them to get the help. And uh, so it's kind of a, a, a way to say you don't have any reason to not be here because they're held hostage in their homes sometimes and, and, uh, and just are not having the opportunity to live their lives the way we live our lives and that's what's so unfortunate about it. So getting the word out about what we are and what we do and the opportunities for the blind and visually impaired is really important. And, excuse me, and Melissa, you came all the way from Australia to stumble across this gym here at the Lion Center for the Blind. Tell us how people can get involved, how they can donate, how they can come here and be a part of the services. First of all, you need to go to our website, lbcenter.org. You'll find me in the donate page. You'll find me in a, quite a few other pages and hear what Kathy has to say. But we want your involvement. Ring me up, ask me what we do, because we have a lot of information to give you. And uh, if you'd like to be charitable to us, I can certainly help you there. <laughs> Well, wonderful ladies, this is good, 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 good news in Oakland. And lastly, I just want to ask you, what do you think this does for the city of Oakland, unveiling this visually impaired uh, Remember Them project, and just what does this do for Oakland? Well, first of all, we're a gem in Oakland, in my opinion, and this gives us an opportunity for us not to be only to, for us to be known, but also uh, profile Mario's work, which is really important. So it's a real synergy for us, and it draws the businesses into it, and that's really what we're looking at: is we want the businesses. We're just engaging employment services for the blind, so it's very important that we have this process going on between what Mario does, what the city does, what we do, and then everybody benefits from that, and we benefit it from, they benefit it from, the city benefits from it particularly. And one last thing, I want you to talk about the uh, corporation's opportunity to win an award because tonight we saw the unveiling of the Helen Keller sculpture and there's an opportunity for corporations to be recognized for their service. Uh, we actually have a client uh, that uh, is an engineer that works for a firm and what we were so stunned by was when his services were over with the Department of Rehab, they said, we will do whatever it takes, any amount of service, anything he needs, uh, we will pay for that because we want him to be, you know, in the place where he wants to be. We want him there and whatever accommodations need to be in place, um, we will cover it. And that's the kind of commitment from an organization to an individual person. Too many people are losing their jobs because there's not adaptive technology 
technology available uh, and or they don't know about it. And there's plenty of reasons to have that available to them because people can continue working many, many years longer than they often um, are booted out the door. Uh, and that's really what happens. Uh, that just with a simple adoptive technology, they would be able to continue doing their job and do it just the same as they did with, with their with full sight. And so that's what's so hard to to uh, to tolerate, actually. Uh, but it is a it is a great opportunity, and uh, and we want the, the the community want the businesses to know that they you know by helping they're making a big difference in people's lives, and we want them to be honored for that. So that's pretty much what we're, we're going for. We're going to be knocking on doors, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, absolutely. Kathleen, it's been an honor. We appreciate and recognize you at Good News in Oakland for what you're doing in the community, especially, you're right, it, it doesn't mean anything that you're visually impaired to keeping you from doing what, being a productive citizen and having productive lives. And I know that's what your mission is here. So we thank you, and we want to recognize you at Good News in Oakland. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Good news in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great.